Ali, welcome. Welcome Thank back you. to MCC. I'm Great happy to be back. It's excited, actually. Great to have you. This Thank is you. a wonderful occasion. And I'm going to ask you a couple of questions, if you wouldn't okay. mind. Okay, I'm going to be interviewed here. Okay, <laughs> sounds good. Sounds good. Indeed, we're going right into the interview questions. Sure. Um, tell me a little bit more about Half Dean. Sure. Um, we are a very unique website because we allow you to see the person behind the profile. So typical websites, you're just a picture, your age, and your first name. What we do is we allow you to learn all these other uh, things about a person that really matters, like their personality, their interests, their answers to 158 marriage questions, their priorities, all kinds of things from their deal breakers to what will make you amazing together to what type of challenges you guys may have. That's the online version. And then the offline, we actually allow our members to meet in person with unique events. And as you've probably heard, MCC has had two amazing events. Um, and both have been quite successful. Our first event, we had 61% of our attendees match at MCC. And our second event was the highest we've ever had in 10 years of doing these events, which was 83% of our attendees wow. finding a match. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Yeah. That is extraordinary. Yeah. Well, what brings us here today is to do a little bit of orienting. Obviously, you gave us a great introduction to Half Dean, but I have a couple of questions for you that I thought would be great for the people that may not be able to attend, but okay. might be curious about what Half Dean is so, like. So, so this, that sounds good to me. I'm ready for the questions. Ready for the questions. <laughs> Fantastic. Um, first question, how can a person gauge if they are ready for marriage? That's an excellent question. So a lot of people are looking to get married. To, I'm ready to get married. I'm not sure if I want to get married. How do I know if I'm ready to get married, right? That's an excellent question. And these are questions that I think uh, parents ask their kids because the kids like, I want to get married, but say, are you really ready to get married? Because do you have any responsibilities that you're handling right now? And a lot of kids, when the parents do all the responsibilities for them, the kids have never been tested with those responsibilities. And all of us as individuals, we know once you get married, it's a lot of weight and responsibilities on your shoulders. So one of the things you gauge is like, can I handle responsibility? And one of the ways you can test that is to do I have any responsibilities that my parents have given me? The second way is to figure out like what qualities is the opposite gender looking for in a husband or in a wife, and have I acquired those qualities yet? Um, there are certain things that, like for example, we men are not naturally born with, like for example, emotional intelligence. Sisters have the by, de by default, we don't have it by default, so there are certain things we have to acquire. And as we acquire these uh, different unique traits, we become more and more quote unquote marriage material. And until we do so, we're oftentimes not ready. So it's being able to learn about the opposite gender, learning about what it takes to be married, what, learn what it takes to be successfully married. Uh, one advice I always give people is find people who've been married for a long period of time and ask them, what is the secret? Right? Yes. Because you've been married for 20 years, what are you doing that works? Learn from them because they have figured something out. And I think this is one thing that comes from our previous generation. As much as we have technologies in our phones, our parents may not be all, all tech savvy, but one thing they have figured out is how to make a marriage work. Mm -hmm. So look, acquiring the wisdom that our parents have taken years and years to learn could save us a lot of headache, a lot of disputes, and hopefully successful marriages. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. That is a great explanation. Thank you so much for that response. Uh, second question, what is a good way for people to determine if they are compatible? That's a, also a great question. So, I figure there's a couple different things. We were talking, having a discussion with someone just recently today about the same topic. And I tell people, if you want to get married, find someone you're attracted to. If you want to stay married, find someone you can tolerate. Someone who can handle our, our quirks, our, our little flaws that we all have. We all have them, including myself. And like, who can handle those small things? And if we can figure someone that can handle me and I can handle them, then the other parts are much more easier. Things kind of fall into place. Because no matter how beautiful or handsome he is, after a while, it's just normal. You love chicken. You really, really love chicken. But if you eat chicken for breakfast, lunch, dinner, breakfast, lunch, dinner, every single day, seven days a week, 24 hours, after six months, it's just chicken. It just doesn't expect it. So as, amazing, as handsome, as beautiful, whatever they were, it just becomes normal after a certain point. So it has to be much more depth than just the surface level. So when you're looking for compatibility, you're looking for depth. You're looking for small things that help you connect on, on a deeper level. And when you find someone like that, you're more likely to be very successful in marriage. So one of the things we do on our website, we ask people to um, list your priorities in marriage. 
So you ask someone, here's 10 characteristics or 10 things that you should, uh, that's important to me for marriage. And I'm gonna order them from the most important to least important. I'll give you some examples. Like similar religious understanding or um, neatness, good manners, desire for children, same culture, um, kindness. Of all these type of th characteristics, what's the most important thing? What's the least important? And what you do, since all of them sound good, there's no right or wrong answer, you give it to the person you're speaking to for marriage and you ask them to prioritize it, the list. And then you compare. And you can see, are we compatible or are we thinking differently? So for example, the sister has desire for children as number one, two, or three, but for him is number 10. Or she, she has same culture as number one and intelligence is number 10. <laughs> so it doesn't, so she's like, okay, maybe this is not what I'm looking for, but you know, everyone's gonna be different. You just have to find someone that matches with what, you, what you're looking for. That is fantastic. That yeah. is a great formula. Yeah. I'm so grateful that you have sorted out such, in such great detail. Yeah, and by the way, I'm just one piece of this puzzle. I'm just, it, it is an entire team behind Half Dean that makes this thing work. I'm just the person behind the microphone right now, but me and my partner, Safraz, have been doing these events for about 11 years, and the website's been going up for 12. And with 2,700 success stories, we've, alhamdulillah, figured out some of the things that work really well, some things that don't. We're always trying to tweak it to make it even better, inshallah. That is wonderful, inshallah. Fantastic, well, thank you for taking time. Thank you for having me. Speak with me today, and it's truly been a pleasure. I'm excited to hear about the turnout of today's event. I'm excited too. I can't wait. In a few hours, we're going to find out the results, inshallah. It's exciting. Inshallah. And thank you so much. Thank you for having me for your program. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum.